Good day everyone! Today we will learn what is OHS or Occupational Health and Safety Standards. Learning OHS is essential for those who wanted to become competent in computer system servicing. OHS or Occupational Health and Safety refers to the legislation, policies, procedures, and activities that aim to protect the health, safety, and welfare of all people at the workplace. This video covers the knowledge, skills, and attitudes required to comply with the regulatory and organizational requirements for occupational health and safety such as identifying, evaluating, and maintaining occupational health and safety awareness. Many organizations implement an occupational health and safety management system as a fundamental part of their risk management strategy to address changing legislation and protect their workforce and other persons working under their control. Here in the Philippines, we have procedures, practices, and regulations in OHS formulated by the Department of Labor and Employment. The Occupational Health and Safety Standards was formulated in 1978 in compliance with the constitutional mandate to safeguard the worker's social and economic well-being as well as his physical safety and health. Now, here are the Occupational Health and Safety Standards in Computer System Servicing. Number 1 do not work alone so that there's someone who can take care of you in case of emergency. While it is not always hazardous to work alone, it can be when other circumstances are present. Number 2. Always power off and unplug the computer before working on it. Make sure to disconnect the computer from the AC power and from any powered peripherals. Number 3. Take away any liquid near your working area to avoid getting electrocuted or accidentally damaging computer parts. Water and any liquid damage can often lead to extensive repairs or worse, total parts replacement. Number 4. Be careful with tools that may cause short circuit. Sometimes screwdrivers that are not properly used causes it. Number 5. Always ground or discharge yourself before touching any parts of the computer. You can use a static wrist trap or touch any metal parts to discharge. Number 6. Do not use excessive force if things don't quite slip into place. Handle all parts with care. Place each piece you remove carefully down onto a stable surface. Number 7. Clean the area before and after using it to maintain sanitation and prevent accidents. When you work in a messy environment, you may not notice all hazards, which increases the risk of an accident. Number 8. Hold the components on the edges and do not touch the integrated circuits or IC parts. Do not touch the pins or its connectors. Number 9. Always wear PPE or personal protective equipment in accordance with the organization's OHS procedures and practices. PPE is an equipment that will protect you against health or safety risks while working. Number 10. Make sure that the pins are properly aligned when connecting a cable connector. Always refer to the documentation for proper orientation of a cable into a connector. Number 11. Contingency measures during workplace accidents, fire, and other emergencies are recognized. Appropriate assistance should be provided in the event of a workplace emergency. Number 12. Use brush, compressed air, or blower in cleaning the computer system. Leaving a computer unclean is a great hazard to your system. Being safe in your workplace is important. 
Make sure to remember these occupational health and safety standards as part of your preparation for the competency assessment and of course when working in the industry. Thank you for watching!